oh hi i was like how is the request not accepting all right what is your name and where are you calling me from sir well my name is nakia n-a-k-i-a oh give me one k-i-a yeah like the phone nokia but it's nakia n-a-k-i-a so where are you calling me from sir i'm in uh you say i'm in atlanta georgia okay atlanta georgia what do you do for a living sir so i work in sales i'm in automotive sales so i've been in sales for about nine or ten years i believe okay automotive sales how yeah. old are you sir i am 39 39 okay so describe the type of person that you're looking for well I would love to have a family. I don't have any kids, so I would love to have at least a child one of these days before I get too old. So it has to be someone that's open to, you know, want to have a family. Okay. That's the first most important thing is they open have to, to family. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, they have to want to have a family. It's something that they want to, you know, they want, they supposed to want to have a family, you know, it, it has to be a desire of theirs to have a family. Okay. So that's all? They just have to be have a desire? No, I won't say that's just the first because that's my biggest problem. I meet women, but it's just, you know, when I meet women, they already have kids. They don't want to have any more kids. And I understand. That's okay. I understand. So that's my biggest, that's the biggest obstacle that I face is meeting someone that's open to having a family. Oh, uh, so can, can she have kids? Yeah, but not too much. Not too, what is the limit? Maybe one one you know one, depend two. one yeah one two just depends on the age you know just depends on the age <laughs> all right so so that's the quality you're looking for she must be open up to make um to expand yeah that's the first first one uh that's the first uh i like someone that's just don't hurt someone that's real someone that's responsible respectful um Someone that's financially conscious. Okay, financially uh, conscious. Are, yeah, financially conscious. Those is important. Uh, those are important to me. You know, I I love to cook. You know, someone that can cook. I don't expect you to cook. You know, I live by myself. I do a lot of stuff by myself. So, it's it's not a requirement that you have to do a lot of those. You know, domestic things. I, I, I can hold down myself. I can do a lot by myself. So, but if I have someone, you know, we can work as a team. Awesome. Awesome. So tell me what's your deal breaker. What turns you off by a person? Uh, I will be a person that someone that smoke, someone that, um, I, I, I'm a simple person. I'm a very simple person. So I don't like a woman that's too much out there. You know, you can't be in too much partying and, you know, I have too much going on. That's just like, no, nah, I don't, I don't want to be a part of that. Okay. So smoking and somebody who party a lot. That's party a lot. And I drink occasionally. I don't want someone that's, you know, um, that, that, that just, they just drink on a regular basis because of depression or whatever it is. So I don't, I don't need anything like that. Okay. So if they drink like moderation or occasionally. You yeah. Want moderation is fine. I drink moderation. I'll, you know, on the weekend, I may have dinner by myself. I have something to drink. That's fine. But it's not something that I do every single evening, four or five times a week. That's not me. Okay. I totally understand. So how do you handle conflict in a relationship, Nikaya? Nakaya is a... Do, am I... Nakia. 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 Okay. Nakia, how do you handle conflict so, in a relationship? You know, to, so I will be honest to you. In the relationship that I've been in, I've never really had a lot of issue like that. The reason why I said that because I picked my bottle. So the woman that I date, we have disagreement and stuff, and I may go quiet or so, but it never go to a point where it got like, you know, really verbally abusive or even physical. I've never been there before. So if, if I know this woman is drama, I, I just leave it alone from very early on. I leave it alone because I'm not gonna call you out of your name. I'm not gonna disrespect you. So I don't expect anyone that's gonna. Uh, Who's gonna do that, you know, towards me? So the moment I sense some form of, of, of bitterness, I am I'm, I'm quickly to go, like I'm checked out. So 
I'm not into that. So to say, uh, oh, do I handle conflict is that I've never really dealt with any conflict like that. So I, I just never really dealt. I just always have relationship that, you know, we respect each other. And even though they didn't last uh, for whatever reason, but it wasn't because of any form of conflict or anything like that. Okay. All right. So name two flaws that you have to work on. Flaws, I'm a workaholic, you know. I think I work a lot because, you know, I believe in stability and, you know. Um, so that's one thing. And I, I'm quickly to jump to assumptions sometimes without not really thinking a little bit about, um, you know, just think about the situation or why that person does that. I may quickly to say something or... Or, you know, jump to my own conclusion without asking the right question or analyzing things a, a little bit more. Okay. So where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I'm working on being kind of financially dependable and just be able to be able to, um, to, to move around and just live life on my term. That's my biggest goal is even though I may work, I just want to be self-sufficient where... I can choose when I work, how I work, and how long I work. That's the most important, uh, most important thing. But also, I would love to be married before five years. I would love to be married before five years. I would love to settle down and have a family before five years. But I think those would be my two main things: would be settle down and 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 have a family, and also be in a position where I can just be able to be sustainable by myself and, and not have to depend on a whole source for income or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, I totally understand. So how important is communication in a relationship to you? Uh, very important. Very, very important. Uh, it's a top priority. So it is very important because uh, I'm a, I think I'm a good communicator for the most part. I do believe so. So um, that is, that is at the highest level also. Okay, so do the person have to live in a certain country to date you? Are you opening opening to date women from abroad? Um, yeah, I'm. I'm. I am open, but the the you know short term wise, I'm open, but long term we it has to it has to be something that we're working to be to get it pretty close. Because I'm 39, I don't really have a lot of time to be, you know, entertaining people and wasting time. So. Um, I have to be, it has to be something that we're working on and being together in the same area, same also pretty soon. Awesome. So where can your potential person find you? Okay, you can give out your social media handle, not your phone number. I'll definitely post this video on my um, Facebook page and I'll yeah. tag you it. And then you can send in your photo with your requirements. I can, I can um, have you featured on the page. Your DM is about yeah. to blow up. Let me just say that. Well, that's the only thing I don't want too much. I don't want too much attention. You know, I saw this. The only reason why I saw this, I'm Jamaican. And I kind of, you know what? This is the first time I'm doing something like this. And I saw your page. And I, for whatever reason, I kind of like, I was feeling it. I said, you know what? I'm going to check this page out and see. Because uh, I've seen other pages. But this one kind of caught my attention. I said, okay, she just started out. I'm going to give it a shot just to see maybe the person I'm looking for. But... I saw that there's a lot of Caribbean women on it. I, I'm open. I'm open. I'm not like... We have people from all over, not Caribbean. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I saw that. I saw that. So that is important. I saw that. But uh, yeah, I'm in Atlanta. So, you know, I can travel and go wherever I want to go um, for the most part. I can travel whatever country I want to travel to. Um, but yeah, but, but I'm not really a big social media person, to be honest with you. I do have Facebook, and that's pretty much what I use the most but uh see this instagram is just something that i have just to look at stuff but i don't yeah. even have a picture on it yeah. or anything well i got your message and i uh that is your facebook page so i'm gonna post you on the on my facebook and i'm gonna tag you just sending me your picture with these information that i asked you and i'm gonna have you featured on your page i mean your dm is gonna be a lot um i always say to call her if the dm is very i had a call a male his dm was blowing up like he said he's his fingers is so tired typing, but what I do, like if you guys are tired, I mean, typing and you know, you have to respond to a lot of conversation. 
you could always ask me to match you with somebody and I can match you with like two to three persons and you guys can talk and take it from there. If that person does not align with your requirement, you could always notify me and let me know and I could always match you because I have a lot of ladies, very nice ladies, you know, that you guys could um, have conversation with and see how it goes from there. So yeah, I'm just looking I'm for, here, for, for, for one. For you guys. Okay, okay. Well, glad I get to be in show to expose myself a little bit since I'm a little bit like a homebody. So, yeah, I'll see where it goes from here and I'll yes. I'll, I'll pick through what I'm looking for pretty quick. To be I'm pretty sure you. you're going to find your match. Thank you yeah, so much yeah. for um, calling on our show. I mean, I had to get, <laughs> this was a, a rush interview, but um, thank you for calling, sir. I'll feature you on the page and um, yeah. Okay, ma'am. I appreciate you uh, giving me the opportunity to be on your show. Thank you so, so much. All right. Bye. All right, then. Bye. Okay. Um, I don't. Can you cut off on your end? Because I don't know yeah. how to. Yeah, let me ask Thank you, you so me. much. Okay. So this is a great guy. Um, he messaged me on Facebook. He said, "I'm interested in your dating page. Your dating page looks very much interesting." I don't really put myself out there, but I love what you're doing. And he said, can we schedule an interview? I was in my bed. Like I was in my bed and I was like, sir, I, we have a lot of ladies and we need more men on this show. So I was like, listen, give me a few minutes. Let me schedule an interview for you. And he's such a great guy. He doesn't